Imagine you're told you can't eat your favourite food anymore. That's okay, I can cope without chocolate. I'll eat popcorn instead. It's not the same with Pro Bono. If Pro Bono goes, there's a void. Pro Bono is when you're able to help somebody with what for some might seem a relatively small problem. For some people, a contract is a document they just can't understand. The 20 to 30 minutes of helping somebody understand a form or a letter. Whether it's appearing in court for a 30 minute hearing or for three days. Doing individual cases, offering advice, working in a law centre as a volunteer. Anyone, regardless of their personal circumstances, should have access to high quality advice and representation. And that, after all, is what pro bono is all about. It gives them a voice. National Pro Bono Week supports the fantastic contributions lawyers and law students make across all three professions, solicitors, barristers and chartered legal executives. We support the week as it is an important opportunity for people from across the country to engage in discussions and celebrations around pro bono work and the future direction of volunteering in the legal sector. It celebrates the enormous amount of work that legal professionals do for the community at no cost. This is an opportunity to, to demonstrate that we do actually have an interest in those in more vulnerable positions in society. It's just such a showcase for all the great work that goes on. Very often unrecognised and pro bono week brings that all together. So there are two types of pro bono. There's pro bono for individuals, very often involves people working outside of their normal area of expertise. And on the other hand, there's um, pro bono for NGOs, for charities. The people who do get involved in pro bono definitely do understand how much fun it is. Because you're working as a team, you feel like you're giving back to society. It's a really, really effective way to learn about the law in a practical situation. They will probably enjoy it. They will probably remember pro bono as one of the best things they've done as students. Yeah, I do feel proud of being involved in pro bono. What the pro bono environment offers you is that real world. It's a chance to get out, to talk to people, understand their issues, and then apply what you've learned academically in the classroom, you have the practicalities in a real environment. Now I'm kind of eager to see you know, what else is out there, try out some new types of projects. It's personally very satisfying, it could be the part of their job as a lawyer that families and friends can most easily relate to. I think there's pro bono out there for everyone. You know, some people haven't found it yet. There is active support for pro bono. There's a commitment of resources. Find time to fit pro bono into your schedule. You'll find it fascinating and it will inspire the next generation. Pro bono offers me a chance to learn. A small amount of time in itself can make a very profound difference to the lives of people who are often marginalised and disadvantaged. Yes, I'm a qualified lawyer. How can I help you? It's a passion for justice, it's a passion for fairness, and it's about volunteering. Justice, access and impact. Doing the work we love doing in a way which gives back to society and a way in which gives you personal fulfilment as well. Give pro bono work a chance. That way you really find out very rewarding it is. If pro bono is not there, these people have nowhere to go. It's that simple. Pro bono's gone. There's no popcorn to take over.